Well, this is the uh, Drake uh, TR4C I've been working on. And in the last video, I went over the uh, PTO reinstall and the cleanup of the radio. It's all cleaned up now, so I've been uh, curious uh, if the transmit will work. And yeah, I finally got the transmit working. It looks like this back tube here was bad and threw it out. So I kept getting the power supply blowing up when I would try and transmit, and it looked like another tube was bad. The uh, front one was bad too. It kept shorting out, or it kind of shorted out just flip and poof. <laughs> so anyway, I had two spare tubes on hand, put those in, and yeah, I got transmit now. I'm not neutralized, but it transmits anyway. So that is a good sign using my usual visual light bulb method. So yeah. This thing has some hope, I guess. So I'm glad it transmits after all that work fixing it. It'd be kind of a bummer if it didn't transmit. That's 80 meters. <clears throat> There's 40. And 40 needs neutralized. I guess probably the higher bands do too. Okay, live demo. Let's see if this works. Here's 40 meters. Go for drive, there's drive, whoa, a lot of drive. Let's go for some, uh, a little less drive. Okay, let's go for some dip. Whoa, there's some dip. Yeah, the problem is, well, this thing really chomps down the plate current and it's not neutralized on 40 meters at all. Let's see what 20 does. Here's 20, transmit. Okay, drive, whoa, a lot of drive, too much drive. Drive, crank it down, dip it. Can I dip on 20? No, a little more drive. Can I dip? There's a little dip right there. A little more drive. Yep, well, 20, 20 is uh, really reasonable, isn't it? Yeah, I get some crank on 20. Well, that's nice. So 40's wacky, 20's good, 80's good. 15. Yeah, this is working out pretty good. Give it some. Uh, whoa, there's a lot of power in that one. Let's see, crank it down. Okay, okay, let's give it a little bit of drive. Peak it, a little bit of drive, peak it, dip it. Yeah, there's some light. So 40 or 15. 15 has some power. Nothing's frying out of me. So I gotta neutralize those tubes. They're, they're, they're all not Sylvania. I'm not sure what they are, but they're, they're probably a motley crew of tubes. You should run Sylvania in these things if you can find them. Six JB6 Sylvanias. Anyway, okay, so 15 works. A little bit of power, not much, but I'm afraid to really crank on it. Well, let's give it a, give it a snooch here. Yeah, it'll go. It'll go. Just too much plate current. Okay. 10 meters. Let's give it a go here. A little bit drive. Let's see how that'll work out. Um, peak it. Oh, yeah, we got some peak there. Kind of acting weird, though. It's acting kind of... Okay, I got a little bit of light, too, so... Oh, yeah, 10, 10 is on this thing is good. Too much plate current, though. Whoa. Too many knobs. There we go. Yeah, I get a panic when the plate current's high. I'm like, turn it off, turn it off, turn it off. And I hit the wrong knob, so. Yeah, this thing works. It needs it needs tuned, it needs neutralized, but this, R, this TR4C came back to life. This was, I guess, a, a tech special that got solar, sold me, so. It's basically back and alive. I guess I can put it in the corner and forget about it. Clean up the other radio that I have. And... and be on the lookout for a uh, for a matching a matching uh, R4C for the uh, for the TR for the uh, TX4B or TX4C I have. So anyway, that will be my last Drake acquisition. But I'm really happy with this Drake. It's it's really been a good a good find. It's been a long couple days fixing it, but it's finally back and working. So that's about it, peeps. Hope you're doing well. Um, stay safe, wear your mask, get a shot or two. 
Get your booster. Thanks a lot. Take care.